So I've managed to get hold of one of these little X27589 stepper motors from um, an automotive gauge. This is actually used in the GM gauges. A friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of them. And it's connected via an L293D driver chip on the breadboard there. Now, I'm pretty crap at doing C programming. I, I can't really do it. Uh, so my friend Matt Wayland has been kind enough to put a node together for the XOD program, which I actually do quite enjoy using. So I thought you might be interested to see how you go about downloading the library from the XOD website and getting it onto the Arduino. I'll show you the connections and stuff like that too. What we're here to do today is use the XOD program to make the gauge do some stuff, which is pretty cool. So we go to xod.io and you go to libraries and right at the top you've got Wayland's sketch so you can click on it and it gives you a uh, description of it Wayland's very good at coming up with examples and really good write-ups for his uh, projects I've used quite a few of his uh, nodes what he's written so you wanna get that copied there so you go to your XOD program takes a few moments to load up, you'll know it's loaded up because all the libraries open up here file, add library you're going to paste what you just copied, it comes up here double click on it and then you've got your project there, you've got your library that you're able to use there so you've got some examples here so if you double click on that it opens a new tab and you've got an example so you're going to be using digital 8 through 11 on the uh, Arduino connecting that through to the uh, L293D the connections for that are here so I'm going to uh, put the link in the description for that If you want to read it off the screen it's there so this is the write-up for it you've got your connections labeled on there so the little step is biased the little pin is biased to the top some of these steppers have the pins going out the back it's just exactly the same thing you just have to orientate it a certain way there's your pin connections I've not got a potentiometer to test mine so I'm going to be testing mine a slightly different way so let's get back to the uh, XOD program so if you open up the first example what I like to do is copy the symbols, copy the nodes, you have to do that with control C and then paste it into the project here so that you can easily save any changes without screwing up the example so what you've got here is you've got you've got your device and you've got a little bit of a setup process in order to zero the stepper and some logic in here so that it blocks inputs whilst changes are happening that's this example so if we if we upload that now So what we're expecting is for it to, after startup, go to halfway position, then go to the maximum position, then go to the starting position, and repeat. That's just uploaded. Halfway, full way, back to start. And that's just going to keep going over and over. Pretty cool, right? all that work done for you, no coding at all that's what I love about this program so I'm now going to uh, open something else up which I've been working on so I've just added this uh, 
apart from the cluster from a GM car just to demonstrate how what I've done here works so we've got debug switched on we've just uploaded the program I've got a tweak number here which is uh, if you didn't know it's a handy way of in manually inputting a number when you're doing testing and so forth so in order to get that you would type in tweak and you can type you can uh, have a boolean uh, you know logic on or off you can put a byte in, you can change colour in this case we've got a number we don't need to do another one so I'll just uh, delete that so I've used the map node so the S, S minimum and the S max is 0 to 120 that's how many miles an hour we've got so that's what the maximum number is going to be expected from here so if you typed in a number higher it wouldn't go any higher does a test and zeroes it and then it hits up whatever value is in here so if I put in 120 it goes up to 120 if I put in there 55 go to 55 60 so every time I change the value on here goes there. So for my particular project it is actually for a speedo in a truck that I'm building and I consider this side of the project proof of concept worked. Next thing to do is work on a hall sensor which is going to be uh, screwed into the transmission. So I need to get the XOD to recognize the value coming out of the hall sensor and then link it directly to this we'll see how we get on with that. I do hope that you found this uh, video interesting. I've tried to keep it nice and short and sweet because uh, most times when people are looking on the internet for an answer to how to do something you don't really want 20 minutes of a guy rambling on about crap you just want to see what you want to see. So if you want to see more, if you need more understanding or more explaining then let me know and I'll try and make a video of that. Any other comments please leave them down below if you're not already, please do subscribe, drop a like, it really does help the channel, and I would appreciate it.